Hello YouTube, this is uh, Thompson Airways 737 bringing you another update in the 1400 scale airport. Um, got to crack on with the update and then there's a few things I want to talk about uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so, like I say, we'll try and keep it uh, short and sweet. Starting off, uh, we've got this Delta, uh, Delta Airlines 757-200 operating as DF208 and one two three um arriving from new york but we'll be heading out to boston um as you can see this one in particular is in the sky team livery um i've i personally have always been a fan of star alliance just because it's nice and basic but i have to i have to say the sky team livery is um another amazing livery um which i've never really seen much of in real life uh, but I just sort of point it out there. It's a really nice. It really is a nice, a nice scheme. Um, moving on. Um, try and get these two in together. Uh, maybe change it up a little bit. So we've got this uh, Finnair A321 operating as AY1361, 1362. Uh, it's operating from and to Helsinki, as you can probably imagine, the capital of uh, Finland. And then next to that we have an SAS, a uh, Scandinavian A321 operating as SK539 and 540 outbound. Uh, this is operating from and to Copenhagen. Then we have this, um, you might not be able to see it uh, too well, but we've um, got this uh, Air Malta A320. Now this is obviously in the old colours, but I kind of use it for the retro style. Um, that they currently operate. I think it's still operating. Um, I haven't really looked into it whether it still is or not, but that's what I'm using uh, this for. So this is operating as KM146 uh, 147 to and from Luca, which uh, again is the capital of Malta. Um, it would be amazing to see some more Air Malta uh, uh, aircraft, whether they will be done anytime, I'm not sure. Um, but again, like I say, I'm using mine. Uh, this particular one, um, made by Aero Classics, if you don't know, uh, as in place of like what would be the retro livery. Um, next door, we've got this uh, Star Alliance uh, Lot Polish E170. Uh, this is operating as LO281 and 282. This is he uh, flying from and to Warsaw. Uh, again, Star Alliance livery, um, nice little model this, um, it is a custom, I've had it for some time now, I uh, don't know if it was a find on eBay, I can't remember exactly, um, but again, quite a nice little uh, a little model to, to have really. Um, next up we have the uh, Jet 2 uh, Sen3 Sen300, um, which I ain't actually ripped down the information for that, but this is the one from the last update. Um, where I had a request where somebody wanted to see it a bit, a little bit better, so that's why the camera's in a different position. Um, this is not going out until later on. I think I said in the afternoon, just after twelve o'clock, which is why it's parked on a remote stand. Um, so yeah, that's that's why it's sort of parked there, just out of the way for now. Um, pushing back. Um, we have this Virgin Atlantic 747-400 uh, GVXLG. This is heading out to Orlando as uh, VS27. Then panning round, we have the first of three 2E787s. This is the 2E787-9. Uh, I think these might have featured in the last update, uh, or at least two of them. Uh, this is operating as BY196. Uh, the, all three of all three of the two seven eight sevens will be heading out probably within the next half an hour or so, based on the schedule. So, this is operating as BY196, heading out to Montego Bay. Next, to that we have a seven eight seven eight. Uh, this is uh, BY24 uh, G2E Echo. Uh, this is. Uh, Operating to Viao 4, uh, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, 
I don't think you pronounce a T based on where it is. I think, uh, well, I know where it is. It's like Saint Lucia, uh, but I think that's how I pronounce it. And then on the far far end, we have a G2E Alpha. Uh, this is operating as BY168, and this will be heading out to Cancun. And then a slight change in uh, runway operations as well uh, today. Really for the purpose of this video, because I thought if I did it the other way, it wouldn't really work out too well uh, with this coming in. So this is operating as VS2, um, registration GVX, VS, VSXY. This is coming from New York and we'll be also heading back out to New York. Uh, this is actually on the ground for around three hours, I believe, the Virgin Atlantic A333. Um, this will be heading out, so this will be positioned on stand further down, as if you know the terminal continues forever, kind of. And then panning round uh, to the cargo um, again, you probably you would have seen this on the last update as well. This is operate came in as DHK114 from Leipzig, and we'll be heading out later on at 11 p.m. as DHK972 to Cincinnati. And that is pretty much it for this update. Um, I hope I haven't rushed it too much. I hope it doesn't seem that way. Um, I was going through schedules earlier and trying to figure out like how am I actually going to do uh, the update itself. And this is where you know I kind of want to come into talk about a few things really. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom out, give you a bit of an overview of the. Uh, of the traffic, um, get that in shot. So, obviously, this airport, I do love this airport. Um, it utilizes a lot of things cargo, um, like domestic routes, uh, international routes, and charter routes. So, sort of, you know, your airlines like TUI and Jet2 and all that sort of thing. Um, utilizes my models very well um, there's space for narrow body wide body and again a lot of cargo um, in terms of the actual updates themselves um, obviously we've got this section here now I, I've mentioned it before imagine this is only half of the airport now the idea initially was to have a lot of British registered aircraft on this side so any base aircraft would operate on the here then any international stuff, including anything flying in and out of Europe, uh, would operate sort of on the other on the far side that you can't see, as like an international section of the terminal. So obviously with the updates, I'm having to sort of rethink that and bring in some of the other stuff. As you've seen in this video, we've got the Delta Sky team, we've got the Finnair, we've got the SAS A321, the Air Malta. Um, and other such things uh, will probably be present for the purpose of uh, more video updates not so much photo updates but for the purpose of video updates certainly to incorporate them in the actual display board itself which also leads me to another thing obviously we we're in furlough we're on lockdown um, some days I find it hard some days you know I crack on my day I don't really think about it but lately I've been thinking about another project and the idea behind this project will be a lot smaller well I say a lot smaller um, I'm thinking either 4x3 foot or 4x4 four four foot um, so basically like a square panel I'm thinking the 4x3 will be kind of easier to work on uh, generally speaking but 4x4 four four, you know it's all square it'll be quite a nice setup so I'm thinking with that of doing a regional airport but with a slight twist of having some international flights so back in the day Leeds Bradford as an example had flights with PIA obviously PIA pulled out because they couldn't operate their late like they used to operate A310s and they couldn't operate 777s into Leeds that's what I know anyway that's what I heard whether that's true I don't know might have been other reasons financially I'm not sure but the idea so the the idea behind this potential new airport I have um, hopefully 
doesn't impact this airport too much for, for the time being it won't um, I've got to wait at least another two weeks anyway until I can uh, until I can actually place an order for a new panel uh, of MDF to work on so it's going to be a good while yet um, but I've already started considering like how I'm going to work the schedules so I'm thinking about five stands because um, it's going to be a very small airport uh, like I say and so it'll be five based aircraft, so but basically five stands, maybe potentially six. Uh, but it will also incorporate sort of room for wide body aircraft. And when I say, when I talk about PIA, there's potential PIA uh, Pakistan International Airlines may operate at this proposed idea that I have. Um, but also another airline that I absolutely love, I love their livery so much, is Sri Lankan Airlines. And if I'm honest, I don't think you see that. They are scheduled into this airport as well. But I would love to kind of feature them on a rotational purpose. And that, that goes for every other model, really, for this for this proposed idea that I have. Instead of doing a massive schedule like I've done with this airport, it's going to limit the kind of schedules. But a lot of aircraft are going to be on rotation. So... The base aircraft would be two Jet 2 aircraft, so that would be a rotation of 757-200s, 737-800s and 737-300s. Uh, TUI uh, will be on rotation of 737-800s and 757-200s uh, and potentially MAX if that starts flying again uh, at any point. Uh, EasyJet will be a rotation of all the A319s and A320s. And then one Ryanair, which will be a rotation of all the 737-800s that we have in one hundred scale. This also goes for other models as well. So an example would be SAS, rotating with A321, 737-600, 737 And potentially, because I do love them so much, potentially Mad Dogs, uh, so like MD-82s and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool to bring them back. Um, other airlines would be like Wiz and a lot of city routes, so like KLM, they'd be they'd operate. Maybe Polish routes, so a lot Polish potentially. Again, I'd have to look at the schedule in more in depth. Um, two E seven eight sevens, they will operate based on sort of Doncaster's um, Orlando route that they have during the summertime. Um, and all that kind of thing. Obviously, we won't be seeing Virgin wide bodies at this new proposed airport. You won't be seeing them unless they divert medical emergency. And that's where you can sort of play on things like that because you can actually come up with small ideas where you can actually bring in something that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, that goes for other airlines as well, uh, internationally, so British Airways. You'll see British Airways more probably from like Heathrow or even London City, but you won't necessarily see 747s or 777s on a regular basis, if at all, unless, again, they, they happen to divert or they have to, you know, come in for whatever reason. Um, I don't know, guys, you know, I, like, I, I always do an airport and I think, right, this is it, I'm set on this airport, you know, I've done all the schedules and everything, this is it, but then a new idea always comes to mind, and this new project will be, if it does get, if it does progress, I'm hoping to make it more um, kind of scenic. Um, and I mean, one thing I always struggle with is terminal buildings. And with this idea, I've actually gone and designed something using a Lego digital designer, free free software that you can use. Uh, you just download it for Windows or Mac. And basically, it's a very easy tool to, to do. And I may, already made like a little terminal uh, that I think would be a pretty good fit for this proposed project. Um, also, the regional airport will also consist of cargo movements as well. That will also be a massive thing, as it is in this airport. So I just wanted to fill you in, guys. Uh, sorry, the video has maybe gone on a bit too long. But... You know, I, I always feel like I'm disappointing you guys as well because, like, I, I do an airport and then I always come up with a new idea. Obviously, I enjoy making them, I enjoy designing them. It's part of, like, who I am and I just enjoy the creativeness. 
But I always feel like when I do an airport, I'm always letting you down because then it's like a new airport comes to mind. And you guys are probably settling in with the updates from this airport. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know how to, how to explain it exactly. But, that, you know, that's the way I kind of feel sometimes. That, you know, it's a bit of a letdown. Um, but I am very much interested to see how this new project maybe comes about. Again, I've got all of the panel. For the actual basic drawing idea, it won't affect this. I can actually draw that in the other room on the floor. So I can actually de design the layout without having to move any of this. So that works out quite well because, again, it's only going to be 4 foot by 4 foot. Uh, or 4 by 3 Still, I'm, I think I'm leaning towards more 4 by 4 uh, just so it's nice and square but I'm hoping with this uh, upcoming layout I kind of utilise the space and again I, I want to try and make it more scenic maybe have surrounding areas uh, around the airport itself maybe um, utilise a bit of a landside area again we'll see how it goes but I just wanted to I just wanted to tell you guys because it's something I can't really keep to myself. Um, so I do appreciate again all the likes and comments so far on the videos I've done based on this airport. There will probably be some more to come on this airport, so don't worry too much uh, for the time being. I'll keep you updated as much as I can uh, on any of the other project potentially if it comes, uh, you know, if it works well. Uh, where possible um, so anybody you know if you followed me from the start I appreciate all your support uh, anybody new uh, again I appreciate any comments and likes on my videos and if you are very new to the channel obviously please do subscribe if you enjoy the content uh, thanks for watching guys and let me know what you think you know um, you know the new idea uh, let me know what you think uh, if you want to know more in depth feel free to message me on instagram or if you know my facebook page custom made model airports just you know send me a message whatever and i can go and explain it a bit more in depth uh, but again thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video